going on guys? Today we are fishing out of Palm Beach, Florida and today I am fishing with some fans, subscribers, whatever you want to call them um, and they have booked a charter with Controlled Chaos out of Palm Beach so we're about to meet them. His name is Steven and uh, we're gonna have a fun day of offshore fishing and uh, yeah looking forward to it. So I gotta get my bags ready and then uh, hop on the boat. How are you? Good morning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're not gonna be able to let them take anything. Just blew that one up. All right, we're hooked up on our first fish. Anthony's fighting the first fish of the day. We had, as soon as we started trolling, buck trolling this morning with live bait, we had a king sky and cut off our first bait. And uh, now we just started drifting. We stopped trolling. And as soon as we got lines out, five minutes later, Anthony's hooked up. And this fish was down on the bottom, this live goggle eye. So hopefully we got something good. Fish is coming up though. We got mutton. Mutton. Nice mutton, mutton. Oh, oh, right there. Nice. That'll keep. Nice. Oh. 18. Oh, oh no, he won't. Dang. Almost there. Thought he was close. Mm -hmm. That'll be a lead, and I'll tell you, and I'll have to break the lead off for you. Oh, we got a lot of line. Go ahead. Oh yeah, nice one. Beautiful. There you go. Man, that's a good dinner right there. Nice. Probably on the snag still. We're in the corner, we're in the snag. That's a nice one. Yeah. Welcome, five pound mutton. We're gonna be a little short. Oh yeah. It's very pretty still though. It's so colorful. Damn. So pretty. Ah! Oh. There you go. Yay! Got fish on one. the jig. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, I'm using my hand to rod and um, my brand new jigging hand to rod here. And I just dropped down my jig just to see if I could catch some fish. Saw some fish marking on the depth finder. I see some color now. And I hooked up. Close to bottom. I think I got a mutton. Oh, I got tangled with the other line, I think. But I've got a fish, though. I think. Oh, I got a side hook runner? And he messed up all the lines. That's okay. Hey, it's still a fish, but he's upside down hooked. Foul hooked. Still a fish. And somehow he managed to tangle the other line. But Oh, it's my line. That's what it is. Sorry about that. Nice job, Sizzle. Yeah. Just like that, he hooks up. One giraffe. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you one see how good he's at jigging? I told you. Oh. oh no, there he is. Oh. Are you kidding me? It is a baby king. It's a, oh no, it's a little mackerel. Look at this, Sarah. It looks like a Dude, that is a king. It is a little baby kingfish. Baby kingfish. See you, little fella. Fine. How do you feel about that, Sizzle? I am pretty. I'm happy for Scott, and I'm happy that actually my reel didn't, um, my lure didn't get cut off by that kingfish. But first drop, he hooks up, and I like was jigging for 15 minutes with like one bite, then I missed the fish. But he's hooked up in the front. Steven's got a big fish on. Yeah, that's not gonna feel too good for that guy. And this needs a new rig on it. You like that rig? That rig's been killing it today. All right, guys, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what, what we're doing out here. I'll give you a little tackle time, just so you know. And I'm going to try and focus a little bit more on why we're doing it. And just the conditions today. First off, the full moon's on Sunday. So typically that's, you two know. Two days from now. Two days from now, right. It's Friday, full moon's on Sunday. So a lot of times, you know, that's going to affect your pelagic bite. So, you know, again, we like the fish for fish um, when they're biting. Uh, so, you know, you got time, that kind of those kind of things. We're going to probably, maybe we might try for Wahoo around the full moon. Good for snappers and stuff at night. And you want to focus more probably in the mornings and in the evening. Um, it's a west wind today in, in Florida uh, on the east coast, so that's really pushing bait and everything offshore. Not, you know, not that great for pelagics. Um, 
Uh, the weather was pretty bad last week. It seems to be settling down the last couple days, which is good. All right, so that's that thing is that's stable. All right, so we did some bump trolling this morning. We have a bunch of videos on that. You know, that's the uh, standard slow trolling with live baits. We're using live go live goggle eyes, and it wasn't really much bite. We had a one kingfish, um, and that really kind of bears out. You know what I'm saying about the west wind and stuff. So then, you know, that was a little tough, and then so we decided to drift fish. Captain James said, let's drift, which is a great idea. You're going to get a little bit better bait presentation like that, and also give you the opportunity to put some baits on the bottom for bottom fish, which is, you know, a great thing to do on West Winds. And also, Darcy can do some jigging, or anyone can do some jigging. Yep. Uh, so, so that's really what we've been doing. And let me just go over what rods we have out here. Well, Captain James is pulling some stuff in right now, but Sorry. we have a... Uh, up here we got a, a mono uh, flat line going out and then we got two bottom rods on this side of the boat uh, and those are on some kingfish rigs. Uh, so basically we got, we're bottom fishing, we got some kingfish rigs in the medium and we got some mono lines up on top. So uh, and you guys have seen that basic setup uh, you know when we fish a lot on, on our boat and uh, again off of Palm Beach when you're on this what we call the Juno ledge like I mentioned to you guys before you know it's a real good time to do that jigging and you can do all the great stuff. So. Uh, that's basically it. You got anything to say, Sizzle? She was doing some jigging before. Yep, no, you got it fully covered. Um, yep. This is the conclusion of our fishing trip. Scott is filleting the nice mutton snapper that they caught today, but we had an awesome day on the water. We caught a bunch of muttons. We had to throw back quite a few. They were short. We caught kingfish. It was just an awesome day. Gorgeous conditions out there. And fishing with fans is always fun. And if you guys are interested in fishing with me, you can definitely contact Team Controlled Chaos. They have a charter company. I'm going to have all their information down below with Captain James. And uh, you can book a charter with Captain James out of Palm Beach and then you could just see if I'm able to make it on those dates to come along on the charter with you just for a fun day of fishing and we get to film and take pictures and just enjoy ourselves out there so if you're interested in that you can find the information down below but uh, I had an epic day with Anthony and Steven and uh, yeah so thank you so much for watching and until our next episode keep the chip off so you're real okay. so start reeling yep start reeling Nice little snook. You're just bring his head towards my neck. Look at the boat. Nice shot. Yeah. Woo! Snook. I mean, it's not as big as that one fish yesterday, but we'll take it. Yeah. Nice little 20 inch bigger. snook, probably. Rachel just caught her first fish ever. She's never reeled in a fish before, so we just got her an awesome first fish. This is her first snook. Do you want to hold him? Yeah. <laughs> so you're just gonna put your hands right in there. He has no teeth. Yeah. Grip him tight. Ooh, mm -hmm. whoop. Grip that tight and then support his belly just like that. All right. Good. Yeah, come over here. Oh, sorry. There we go. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice Keep first snook for uh, Rachel over here. This is awesome. <laughs> so we just got on the snook bite and uh, I think we get some bigger ones, but that's a great first fish for anybody. So congratulations <laughs> to Rachel. Awesome. <laughs> nice. I'm 23. No, I think that's good. 23 inch fish. Put them back in the water quick. I'm gonna release them. Yeah. Oh, nice. Big, get the big, get the big one. Get the big one. We're here and get right here. Not going around no more. Going to the left. Okay, you gotta come in front of me. There you go. Oh, stop that. Right to me. Right to me. Right to me. Nice job. Wow. Nice job. Woo. Good job. Woo. Good job. Woo. Same size. Nice. We got a snook for Megan. Pretty awesome, and it's just totally awesome for me. I was up at 5:30 this morning and fishing offshore, catching mutton snappers and kingfish with some of my fans. And then this afternoon, I'm fishing open the bill. And then this afternoon, I'm fishing inshore salt water with my family, and we're catching snooks. So totally awesome. My favorite snook lure right here. I'm gonna get this out. Link's gonna be in the description. Check it out. It's a snook killer. I mean, it's a fish catcher. Snook killer too. <laughs> Dropping this guy head first. Watch out. He's going to jump so tight. He's tight. He just came right out of the water, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good call, Captain. Nice job. Damn. Woo-hoo. Fish on. Woo-hoo. Fish on. Right, this is fish.
fish number, snook number five. We landed two so far. Let's see if we can get this one in. What up? Oh, oh, damn, I pulled it up. What'd you do? Its head came up and you I. You gave him slack? No, actually. Oh, I saw him just that. come up and he. Yeah. yeah. That was a big one. Yeah, I don't know if the camera caught that. Right by the boat, that was a nice fish, the biggest snook of the day. And he kind of just came up, shook, and we saw the lure spit. Wow. So that's now three lost snook, caught two. Darn. Right. Where is it? He's close. He's coming up right here. See him, Dad? Yeah. Not that small. He inhaled it. Nah, we put him in the net. Nice. He inhaled it. He inhaled Whoa. it. Okay, that's it. Wrap it up the day. We were offshore for half the day in the morning and then inshore. So we had a lot of uh, salt water. We got up at 5 30 this morning. Medication and sun. <laughs> yeah. So we're tired. But yeah, that was an awesome day offshore catching fish and then had a blast catching snook with my family. And I think everyone caught a snook. I, Connor jumped one off and uh, my dad jumped one off too. But at least everybody got a fight of snook. That was cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching. There they are. Oh, oh, he just blew up on it. Hit it, hit it. Fish on. On her. Come on, Connor. Reeling your fish. I'm videotaping you. Big Jack, come on. All right, got it. Someone take it over here. Just keep it on, Darcy. All right, got it. Sorry. <laughs>